Hey guys, Sabini again with Beanie Bits. Hey, my question today is, why am I here? I know why I'm here. Do you know why you're here? Why are you here? And I'm not just talking right here in this space right now, watching this. I mean, here on earth, in this experience, you know? And for the longest time, I had no idea. I was like, why? Why, why is this? Why, 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 why me? Why, what, what, whatever, you know? And um, because I was miserable. I question everything. It's like, what's the point? Why am I even here? Why, why should I even continue? Right. And um, up until recently, you know, when, when I joined the Napoleon Hill Institute, did I actually put it all together and, and discovered um, and put words into my major definite purpose. My why, why am I here? Why do I do what I do? Why do I keep going on? Why do I keep growing? Why do I want to learn? Why do I want to do all of these things, right? And uh, turns out it's something I've been doing my whole life. My whole life. And it didn't matter how miserable I was, how dark it was inside of me. It really did not matter. My goal, my thing was always if there was somebody suffering, somebody that was worse off than me, I wanted them to smile. I wanted them to see that, hey, you know what? There is light at the end of the tunnel. No, it's not a freight train. Yes, you can. You know, I believe in you. All of those things. I wanted people to smile, be better, be more. My whole life I've been doing this. You know, I just like I didn't realize that this was my definite major purpose. It's just something I've always done. I never even thought about it, you know. And uh, when I joined the Pulling Hill Institute, we had to write down our definite major purpose. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Well, the question is for you, what gets you really excited? Really excited. Something you may have done it your whole life. You know, a friend of mine, she uh, she loves to help people. She says, well, I just want to be of service. You know, and it's something I've always done. And then we discovered it's like when she was growing up, she kind of did it because she had she had to. She was told to. It's like be nice, you know, be helpful, be be all of this. And at some point, it shifted to where she actually wanted to do that. And it's something she has always done. You know, what is something that that you have always done? Um, but growing up, you know, as a teenager, as an adult, the whole time, something that really gives you joy when you do it for others. That's why we're here. You know, I want, I really want the whole world to understand the power of thought. I want the whole world to learn, you know, how powerful they are, how amazing they are. You know, every single one of you, every single one of us, I mean, it doesn't matter where in the world. It does not matter. We, we all have gifts and talents, you know, that we can share with the world, that we can share with others to make their lives easier. You know, for one thing, hey, I, I admit it, I hate cleaning. Always have. Has part of has to do with uh, my upbringing. Okay. That's another story. I'm not getting into that. But it's just like, I don't want to. But I would, I love to hire somebody who does enjoy that. And there's people out there who enjoy cleaning, right? And that's cool, which I'm like super happy about, you know, or um, admin work. I mean, I do it for my business. Do I enjoy it? No. But I know so many that's like, oh my gosh, I just love doing this. And it's like, the more, the better, right? And that's cool. I love that. But see, we all have those talents. We all have those gifts that we can share with others to help others, you know, be better, be more and see a brighter side in life. I so love this. This is so, so good, right? So what is you excites? What, what, blah, 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 blah. Tripping over my tongue again. Anyway, what excites you, you know, when you get to do for others without expecting anything in return? Just, just because you you want to do this, you want to help the other person. You know, what is that for you? What is that for you? You know, are you doing it? Or are you just like, well, nobody will appreciate it anyway. I mean, I was that way, you know, but here's the thing. At some point, somebody really does appreciate it. They may not tell you. You know, I have people come up to me like from, from long time ago when we were in the military or even before the military, when I went to, to school and everything, 
they reach out to me and it's like, oh my gosh, that one thing you said to me, that did, the one time you believed in me and what I didn't, it made such a difference. You know, sometimes we find out the impact we have on people. Most of the time we don't. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. It is so good because it, it feeds your soul. If I know it feeds my soul. You know, and there were times when I was, no, I didn't think it fed my soul. But looking back, it's like, no, it really did feed my soul. And it kept me going as something that's like, if I could help somebody else, it's just, is so good. It is so good. So the question is, why are you here? What lights you up? Write it down, you know, and have this ongoing list. It doesn't have to be like, okay, I'm going to write down five things and that's it. Well, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. You know, whatever works for you. But I have an ongoing list of, oh, this is, I want to do this, you know. And it's like, oh, how can I help somebody else? All of those things. And I just keep writing them down. It is so good. It is so good. So why are you here? What is your major definite purpose? Hey, and if you don't know, if you need help figuring it out, just reach out. I'm here for you. So hope that helped you a little bit today. And I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you.